In this video, I'm going to show you how to use uh, MinGS table generator in order to create entities that uh, you can maintain easily uh, in form of a table. This generator is based on the popular generator MinGS. The problem uh, for my applications with this generator is that it shows the information uh, like a blog, like a blog. But for my applications, I need to show the information like a table, and from this table, I have to be able to uh, create a new entities, to uh, retrieve entities, to update them, and to delete. So, if I have to do this uh, these actions manually, uh, it is uh, quite uh, costly. So, I have decided uh, to adapt uh, the main.js generator so it automatically creates uh, the entities like a table and allows me to, to do basic CRUD operations. I'm going to develop a new application. Uh, the information to develop this application is in the documentation of the generator. We are going to follow these instructions so the first step that that we have to do is install the this generator. I'm going to copy this instruction. I'm going to paste. Okay. Once I have installed the generator, I have to create uh, the new project. I'm going to create uh, a project called uh, Sales. And inside this project, I'm going to launch uh, this uh, this instruction, this command. I'm going to set the default options. Okay, this command is going to, is going to create the skeleton of my application. Once uh, the application has been created, we have to create a new entity. To create a new entity, we are going to use uh, this command. We are going to create uh, an entity called customer. We are going to wait to, to create the, the skeleton of the application. Okay, it's done. So, next we are going to create our entity. I'm going to set default uh, information. Okay, now the entity has been created. Now we can uh, start our, our project. I'm going to launch it. This is our project. I had already created entities in my previous database. I'm going to remove it. Okay, so now I have an entity with only one property called name. The generator by default when it creates a new entity it creates the entity with this property, the property name. So we are going to adapt our entities and we are going to add new properties. To add new properties to our entities we can follow the instructions in the generator. We can, we can see how to uh, add new properties. We have to follow three steps. The first step is to uh, update our Mungus sch scheme. Let me open my project. Ok, 
Okay, the mongoose uh, scheme is uh, in the folder app models customer. By default, we only have uh, the property name. We are going to create three more properties. Address, state, and finally, we are going to create the property country. Okay, with uh, this, uh, our backend is adapt uh, is already finished. Now we have to adapt our uh, front end. We have to go to public modules customers. And in customers, we have a service called customers form client. Here we have defined our, uh, our properties. We only have one property name. And uh, these properties are used by a plugin called Angular Formly. We are, uh, our generator is using this plugin, Angular Formly, in order to create our forms. The forms are going to be created uh, by the definition of these properties. Okay, so we have to create three, pop three more properties. Address, state, and country. Okay, and finally we have to adapt our table. Our table is only listing, is only showing uh, one property. So we are going to add uh, three more columns. address state and country okay we have already finished only uh, with uh, these steps we have created our entity and we have uh, an structure, a system that allows us to maintain this entity. We are going to check our application. Here we can see the four properties, here are the new properties. We can create new customers. Okay, we have already created it. We are going to create a new customer more. Sorry. Okay. So from here we can filter. We can order our records, we can update them, we can uh, view them, and we can edit. And uh, we can remove uh, uh, entities from, from this table. Okay, we have uh, seen that uh, with this uh, generator we can maintain easily and uh, very quick our entities. Uh, we have uh, still to adapt some uh, new things to, to this uh, generator. It is not already finished. This is a primary version. Uh, but uh, we can see that with this generator we can uh, improve uh, our productivity.